Howdy, folks! It's Red Slash, and welcome back to another episode, or whatever, of Night in the Woods! <laughs> Sorry if I sound a little bit tired or whatever, I'm trying to wake up! <laughs> I just woke up, so, uh, boy, I'm feeling a zombie now. Uh. So, anyway, um, last time we. Uh, what happened last time? We went to the mines and we tumbled upon those, those, this cult or whatever that wanted us to kill the citizens for them. Uh, I don't know why they wanted us to do that. I, I barely understood what they meant. <laughs> but anyway, that, that was pretty messed up. And in the end, Germ actually helped us because it was in a well behind his backyard and he didn't know anything about it. So maybe I was a little bit harsh towards Germ's case. Maybe he was not involved in all of this. I was wrong about Germ. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna find things out of what's gonna happen next because that that guy he tried to catch on to us and tumbled down to his doom back in the mine when it when it had a cave in uh, and I I went full silence there because I was just shocked because I saw his arm torn off that that shocked me and not only that but I saw the silhouette he was a cat I don't know what person he is or she but I hope we can find out cuz I'm concerned about this now anyway so wake up my make wake up enough sleep with you it's time to move on Yes, this was our dream or whatever we went while we were down in the caves. Where was also a zombie walking for some reason. I don't know why. That was weird. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Yeah, apparently it is. Hey man! Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You, you massive dork lol. Fan practice today? Oh no. <laughs> but I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at a snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory! Oh uh, no, not this stupid song again. With this stupid button arrangement that I have. Well, it's basically on every controller, basically, so. <laughs> hey, bye. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me where we're doing bank practice, though. I'll see you there. Okay, so no pickaxe today. Word of service, no in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming for you? Or your way, I don't know. Sh shark, help me. <laughs> epilogue, stars. We're at the epilogue already. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. That's for damn sure. Hey, granddad's clock. Hey, granddad. Anything to it to add in there? Nope. Bird. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> I should like reread some of these. Maybe I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shaves from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shaves from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. 
an influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Huh. Pretty interesting. My honey, is that you? Mm, yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Let's talk to mommy. Mommy! Hey, sweetie. Hi, mom. How are you feeling? I'm gonna have to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why is that? It's been... I just... I, you're an adult and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here and you're still my baby. Oh, mom. You need to come up with some ground rules, just cuz. Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I don't even know if I can tell you. Why? I don't understand. I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me! Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. That can flip the pancakes in the air! <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh wow. Calling for some snow too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay, well I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. Are you still reading the same book? No oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. It's coincidence much? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord call their children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the parlay. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children, bring it in, bring it in. Tarry with me for a moment, talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven, bring him in, bring him in. That was a terrible song, I know. That's nice. <laughs> it is. It is nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing else? Nothing else. <laughs> Do you know the song of my people? <laughs> yeah. Hey Dad! No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. This place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. What's supposed to respect you? Workers supposed to be able to talk. Workers supposed to be able to have a life. Workers supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and your and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep you or health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to add at least 
is there anything uh, you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than it get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a toot. A what? Do you know what this toot is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Grandad must have had it from the old days. My, thank you. Wow, it looks bright and new. But you just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. <laughs> My, sorry. <laughs> I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. My, yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we t walk out. I'll breathe fire, Dad. I love you, Kaden. Be back later, Dad. The Toot! Achievement unlock, yay. What are you doing out here, by the way? Get an early start on our longest night, lights plan. Better take them out on, of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help with them, Buh? Yeah, I'm talking with my nose, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have some stupid mucus in my nose. Ah! <laughs> it's dripping down, sorry. I, I hope I don't have a cold. We'll see, you're a small fry. Dad. Dum dee dum dee dum. Dum dee dum dee dum dum. Dum dee dum 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 dum. I notice it's written mint. Who is Mint again? I don't remember. Or if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like deluded. But it would be not really nice if there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods. That bled this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty stupid good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Oh, look who it is! Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, my. Sure. What's wrong? I'm gonna ask a lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen. Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. My? Spit it out already! Be careful. Just be careful. Well, jeez, until now I never considered that. My? Okay, fine, thanks, bye! Jeez, she doesn't have to be so rude! Hey, Selma. Hey, my. Sup, Selma? Is... You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing. Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Uh, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, <laughs> I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. That's all. Oh, I want it more. Well, I will have more because this guy. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. You, you were uninteresting this whole time, and I really hate you. I don't know why. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't a problem. No one have enough tru damn trucks for this thing. Cars subsiding all up and down the goddamn hill, Colleen. Have to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. 
well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie hint hint. Okay, fine, we'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the heck? We're gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last night. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. God to hell, Colleen! You could just hire some private blows. If you want to go against the dot union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one too. If you do agree on to so so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. No, well, now let's. Uh, that, that, that. So, what are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea! I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Okay. <laughs> Tough decision for winter for the town council, it seems. Hey, look! Mr. Chazapeeves! Chazapeeve! Whatever. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. Maybe, oh baby. Mr. Chazakov! Hey, mate. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Wow, oh, the eyes! And it's right there. Kind of. It's right here. Okay. Found it. Let's consult the guide. Hereskin the Firemaker. The Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling out to it. For light and warm. Sounds festive. I like survival. <laughs> Yawning. Mm -hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not crea create the stars. Or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons. And found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened, because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. We found them all! Yay. We are proud. Dusk Stargazer, a tube of luck. So, what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon! With a face! It's gonna crash on the town! <laughs> oh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chatsikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Erskine. Sounds like here seen from the Elder Scrolls, but whatever. Oh, look at the little baby! Raccoon! Are you a raccoon lady? Oh. 
Casey. Poor Casey. We know what happened to Casey. Oh! First of all, I want to talk to this person. When winter comes and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded, ruined. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away! Come on. Hey, Granny! Oh, hey, Miss Rosa! Oh, how am I? Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Do you want to talk about... Uh, your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Dread was built on our backs and the backs before us. That was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. For company goods. Back in school they showed us some those. Word quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered his daddy experienced it first hand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Now I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tire. Haha, <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield. And he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I throw it over to him and we run off down the hall alley. That's the Royal OK Drug Store. We feel big parking lot on nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, oh okay. Wait, what was this? A very long time ago. Was he? So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitched, so... About that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Hehe. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Hell yeah! Sometime, maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In the last time of night, and things he did. That you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, my sooner or later. Okay, bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, my Borowski. My Borowski. <laughs> anyway, music is down here. Did they finally put up with a show or something? Hey, they did good. Nice. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Oh, thanks, mom. Are you a new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Mm, slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the f up. Hey! Watch it. I can punch you in the face for saying that. Uh. Hey, Pastor. Hey. Well, hey there, Mike. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the console vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We got all this empty space. We use it for so many things, but... You tried? All we can do. And God will show up. When the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too, Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this space up? Mm, that'd be nice, Mike. 
There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, my... Such a troublemaker, aren't you, my browns? Bork, bork! <laughs> What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around to throwing it all out. Should like steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. We can go there? Seriously, there's no bedroom in here. And no one's inside this room. Do they poop in the dresser? Oh god. Do they poop in a bucket? Oh jeez, what if I stumble across the poop bucket? There are unanswered questions here. I wonder if it's a guy or a gal. They're probably pretty old. No one young cares about the saints or the church. It's gonna be weird in like 30 years. When all the churches are empty. I'll open a pizza place. Sit in the pews and eat pizza. Gotta come up with a pun. Combining pizza and church. Holy pepperoni! Well, that's one! <laughs> I could sleep in this bed, and whoever lives here would never know. They'd go to sleep, tonight, unaware someone else was just there, under their sheets, under their pillow. <laughs> I could also, like, be helpful. I couldn't make their bed when they don't. This doesn't have to be creepy, right? I wonder if whoever lives here knows I've been here. I feel like we have some relationship, like I'm a ghost and I'm haunting them. I should like, move something. Just to let them know someone cares, enough to visit them. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. What would be the creepiest thing ever? Hey, buddy boo! Hey! You okay? Hey! I heard you were like in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a raven while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a dead cold of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So, you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Aw, oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. RIP! Death, whatever. Won't be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy, enjoy it while the weather lasts, my. I'm on top of the world. I am the queen. She is the queen, my brother. Okay, let's not do that. What's going on here? So I'm gonna split part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. Spits up the optimum schedule for the all in employees. Manager can do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with computer. Did Nancy give you L? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. You still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday is my only night off. We can all put in requests. Coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. Cigarettes. Coffee. Cigarettes. Okay, I will end the debate right here and right now. I choose coffee over cigarette. There you go. Hello, old guy. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I cleave up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Okay. So, what it's been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. 
I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old of, of their history. Whatever I read. <laughs> you know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today. And, like, I've learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. They make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done in honest day's work. Quit in time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty weird laugh. Wait, how do you know my name? Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought, I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Maybe. Hmm. That's weird. I want to go to the Big X, but I can't because Bear's not there. Okay. Oh, hello. Who are you, lizard boy? Well, for sure, Jindy. Sure looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time outdoor indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let the ghost of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing this for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life is cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I had thought about how cold it was getting out there till you mentioned it. It's doing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada! I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. No, yeah, okay. Numb arms. What part of Canada are you from? Cuz I'm Canadian. Are you from maybe Manitoba? Maybe British Columbia? Ontario? Or are you from the same province as me? Quebec? Who knows? <laughs> there there's nobody here. Hello? I want to ride the movie! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the back alley. Go find some adult stuff. <laughs> okay, no, maybe not. <laughs> I want to talk to this guy more. He seems interesting. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, taco place! This is the best thing that happened to this town since, uh, this is. Since, since we got an internet, since they got rid of all those snakes in the dinner. Since we got internet, we were still using c Cyberfish until like two years ago. Because they said eternally two decades behind here. It takes you two, three days of to tour the movie. It takes you one, it takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times, God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Oh my god, it's a taco boot. And I think this guy got a job into it. So you're a taco dude now, huh? I mean, I was hired by a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out is the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing, there is snow in the sky falling. Where are the tacos here? Yeah, good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. It pays. 
Taco Bot. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Oh, ho, ho, ho. getting serious about work now, huh? Hey, the guy's alone now. What's going on? Where are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah, I'm dumb too. I'm too high to notice you. <laughs> well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's got to stand here. Hey, you smell her span? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters! I made a new friend! In the end! It's too late. Hey, buddy boo! What's in the news? I'm gonna be a cold winter, worst in years. How can they predict that? Eh, future's all guys work. I guess. The food donkey is still closed. There are some. Rats, and I can go in? My babies! Oh, the rats! My little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle. I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. I'm uh, with rats. As in an abandoned store. That's creepy in some way, but it's not in another way. Okay, I guess. I guess that's what it is. What happens if I go back? Oh, I just go back and enjoy some time again. Okay. Oh well, enjoying some rat babies moment. Well, there's only one place to go. The snack falcon. Hey, Gregory! I'm gonna pass you just for reasons. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like relevant. Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah, <laughs> don't know why I hesitated here. Yeah, yeah. You want to get out of here to band practice? Yeah, let's go. I've pretty much seen everything, I guess. Let's do this. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So, did you all get keys to the back door? Grad got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Hmm. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, they, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. You not think they're last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they have, once they move and change and meet new people and become new people, I think Angus is gonna find he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg like saved him. 
Listen, I'm not saying he didn't. If he thinks so, Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carried knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought of this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. So, I... How are you? I'm good. Really. I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just like stuck in neutral. You? I'm not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. You think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. There is apparently a death call of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing. There's apparently a death call of dads, or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably took them a few days to die. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Uh, failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you like get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of, of this running because you care. I guess caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there right out of sight following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and or bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce and doing free study courses online and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza to each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together! Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed uh, getting trapped in the basement. Yeah, you sure did, my. You sure did. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs on the pores to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. <laughs> well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs rats multiply. Cute, we literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good out. Like, can it drive real far? My, do you know anything? What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. I guess you like the worst lodgers. And they sell barbecue. I think barbecue is sound. Not all of it. It's everywhere. Be a be a Q. It's all it's all different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. 
I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, uh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, my day. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think uh, God already has. There they are. Hey guys. Stop, nerds! Pfft, you are the nerds. How do you get Angus out of work? I made out of finally an emergency. Mine could got run over by a tractor. Haha, <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough. No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can't we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. No, it wasn't that coma or whatever. I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying calls and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bit. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature and so on, or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good in my... Song and pizza! Yep, good enough. What? <laughs> okay! Sure, uh, you're gonna end roughly like this? Uh... Okay, so that's the end! Oh. Wow, okay! So basically the epilogue is like, Oh, forget about last night! We're gonna be weird again! Oh, but still, oh, this game! Oh, this game! Oh. I can so relate to some characters and, and sometimes with me a little bit. Ah, oh, that's so cool! I love this game! It's so good! And I'm prob we're probably not done with it because there are some bonus content. But God, I love this I loved it so much. It was some good storytelling, good character developments, especially the character development. I love it so much. Uh, the style is very simplistic, but yet it's very beautiful. I love when it's so simple, and yet it, there's a charm to simplicity. I really like it. It's so nice. Oh my god. Patience for the Kickstarter backers. Ah. So it was Kickstarted. Eh. Uh, that was like a very, really good experience for, for me to live this game for f finally. After so long, I have seen it uh, like online on YouTube, like people were making videos about it. I haven't, I, I, di I didn't want to look through it because I thought, ah, maybe it's a cheap game or whatever. And uh, 
then I watched the trailer a little bit for uh, like I think it was two years back, and I was like, eh, maybe maybe the was the sounds not as bad as as it sounds. Eco the cat. Oh, was it based on uh, on that cat? Oh, but yeah. I saw the trailer back then, and then I was like, ah, this game sounds pretty fun after all. At the end of everything, Rip Casey. Uh, mm. Yeah. That's... That's all it is. I guess. Yeah, it's back to this. Well, that was a pretty great experience, guys. No, I... I don't think we're done yet. Because there are still some extras over there. Uh, what is it? Play Longest Night. Lost Constellation. Lost Constellation, Longest Night. I wonder what those are about. I mean, Longest Night is sure about the... The, the, I, I think it's after the practice band and it's like uh, the, 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 the dinner with, with her family and all. But I'm gonna save that for an, a bonus episode. Uh, maybe Lost Constellation will be another episode too, I don't know. But we'll see about this. So, for the time being, like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. That will help tremendously. And... Most of all, and always, I will see you next time. 